The former Urban Government Center continues to sit vacant. Fenced in with tall grass growing and windows boarded up, neighbors in Paristown Point call it an eyesore where thieves routinely steal metal from the abandoned buildings eyed for redevelopment. But just how much are Louisville taxpayers paying until that new development happens? WDRB's investigative reporter Marcus Green has been digging into that question. So what have you found out over time? Well, we found out that overall it's a lot. And since 2017, when the city first began seeking proposals for the property, Metro government has spent nearly $600,000 on security, maintenance, and other things. But that figure is likely higher because there are some months we just don't have figures for. Now, most of the money is going towards security. Still, some neighbors remain frustrated about the condition of the property and what they say is ongoing looting without any real action by the city. They don't care about us. They don't care about the rest of the, the taxpayers. They're allowing these people to come in and destroy the property and profit off of it. Uh, that, that to me is disgusting. And Cindy Pablo told me she has seen people breaking in as recently as just last week. And you have been covering this project for quite a while. Are we getting any closer to any movement in, in progress? In some ways we are, in other ways we're not. Uh, the city's latest developer, developer has asked Metro Council to sign off on a property tax subsidy to help finance the new construction. Remember, this is a massive proposal with apartments and commercial space and a hotel. There still isn't consensus on a community benefits agreement for the surrounding areas, and that has to be done before this project can move forward. In addition, there are some neighbors who just want to start the entire process over. Of course, this is the third attempt to build something there. The previous two developers failed to complete their plans. So really, it's going to depend on what Metro Council decides to do in the coming weeks or months. Well, we've been following it for a while. We are going to continue to do so. Marcus Green, thank you very much. We have much more on the story right now. Go to our website at WDRB.com.